Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be jumping into a cleaning motivation. I also bought some new home decor for the dining room. I also got an Amazon package that arrived while I was recording with you um, with my new kitchen decor as well. So it arrived right on time for me to be able to put it out and show you what it is I bought to make the kitchen look extra special today. So um, if you have time, hang out with me and let's jump into this cleaning motivation video. So broken my heart, like really torn it apart in another life, in another life. Someone must have really me up, like caused my heart to stop in another life, in another life. Otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this, keep fighting all of it. Don't trust that there's love that get. I don't know why I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit Guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Really better to open it up Oh, yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Worry that it won't be enough oh, yeah. Someone must have made me Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. In case you're new here, my name is Stephanie, and on my channel you can find cooking, decorating, and cleaning motivation and home resets. I'm a professional cleaning lady with my own cleaning service for the last 13 years, and I will offer tips on how to keep your home clean and in tip-top shape along with keeping things not only clean but beautiful i'm very much into detail so i'll also be discussing what you should look for when hiring a cleaning lady in my cleaning videos and if hiring a cleaning lady is not in your plans then you can just follow along with what i do and you can't go wrong so if you like that sort of thing and you are interested in it please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button and comment down below and let me know you're new here because i would love to have you So today is still Friday so if you're looking at me and you notice that I have on the same thing that I had on in the previous video before this one it is because I recorded on the same day. Um, I just didn't do my kitchen in the last video so I decided to give you a cleaning motivation in a separate video. So yeah it's the same day. Um, I am just getting things neat and tidy for the weekend because the weekend is upon us. And I like to go into the weekend with my house clean. I do not like to have my house dirty on the Sabbath day, especially my kitchen. So that is what you see me doing here in the video. Um, my grandsons were here together. One lives here full time. His name is Carter. He's four. I have another one named Elias. He's two. And he was just here with us for a couple days this week. So there's things on the floor. The countertops are sticky. The chairs are sticky. And it's just a lot going on because you know how it goes when you have kids around. They drop food. They do all sorts of things of that nature. So I'm just getting it cleaned up because I do not like walking on the floor and it feeling like sandpaper under my feet. So what you see here is me using the glass cleaner after I have wiped the countertops down and got them nice and clean. I like to go behind it with the sprayway glass cleaner, which is the best glass cleaner in the world, by the way. 
and shine up my countertops. I am a stickler for not having streaks. A lot of people will clean their homes and they will just wipe things down and it doesn't matter if it's streaky or not just long as the food, the grease, and the debris is off of the surfaces. But me, I don't like to see streaks at all. I feel like adding glass cleaner is definitely a way to make your home feel extra clean. I do it in my clients' houses all the time. I clean everything with glass cleaner after I get all of the um, sticky stuff off of the surfaces. What you see me using is the Bona Floor Cleaner. It is really good for wooden floors, LVF floors, which is what I have, the LVF floors, and it just makes them feel really, really good. I like to mop my floors in sections. Even in my clients' homes, I mop floors in sections. It keeps me from being tired. It gets the task out of the way in certain areas, and it is a way to keep me from having to just go over the entire floor because it is very tiring mopping floors so i just do it in sections so now that i have gotten the floor clean where the bar stool chairs are i know that i don't have to go back to that area so just like directly behind it all i have to do now is just uh sweep and mop and then you know whatever else i'm going to do to the floors as the video proceeds Creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body So one of the things I find important to tell you when cleaning your home, it is very, very pertinent that you clean your home in sections, like stay in one room. I have been in the cleaning industry for a very long time and what I notice even about uh, professional cleaning women is that they will go all over the house. They won't finish the kitchen first before they move to the dining room. They won't finish the dining room first before they move to the bedroom. It is very, very paramount that you stay in one area of your home. Get the entire kitchen clean first before you move to another area. Or get your bedroom clean first before you move to another area or your bathroom, etc., etc. Because that is going to help with the process of cleaning your house. It's going to help with knowing that your house is thoroughly clean the way you plan when you started out with the task right so just clean your home room by room do the floors vacuum or whatever else it is you have to do in that room before you decide to move on to another area and that way you don't have to go back in that room it's already done it's already smelling good it's already neat and tidy and you are absolutely completely done with that area and then you can move on to the next area and then that way your concentration is doing well as you clean this is the pink stuff this stuff is magnificent it is a miracle worker with these uh glass top uh, stoves you will experience like blotches and that sort of thing and so with me I use it to get those blotches off of the burners because I don't like seeing it this is a brand new stove and so I don't like seeing the blotches so I use the pink stuff to just scrub it off and it works wonders then I go behind it with the wet rag and my Dawn Blue Dawn original not the apple not the orange not any of that Johnny come lately stuff and then I just get up the residue and the grease and that sort of thing. I'm not cleaning my oven. I'm not doing a deep clean on my oven. I am just wiping out burnt on food that is stuck like 
uh, French fries and um, pizza uh, cheese and that sort of thing that has dripped in the oven over time. And that sets off my smoke alarm when I turn it on and I've just been too lazy to clean it out. So that's all I'm doing with my oven today, just pulling out those um, burnt pieces of food that has fallen down in the bottom. And so my oven doesn't need a deep cleaning, so I don't need to do that. I just want to get it looking nice and so that my smoke alarm doesn't continue to sound off when I turn on my oven all because I've just been too lazy to bend down and get the stuff out. Listen, y'all, I clean for a living. So sometimes when I come home, I don't always want to do those things, right, that I'm doing in my clients' houses. But that's what you see me doing here, just shining things up, making it look nice. Again, this is a brand new stove, so it doesn't need a deep clean anyway because we only been in the house for four or five months at this point. So I don't need a deep clean of the home at this point anyway. Always remove your items away from the wall so that you can get behind your items. You'll be surprised at the crumbs and the debris that builds up behind there even though you feel like you're not using that area or you're not cooking over there and that sort of thing. It just, it still happens, y'all. You still get stuff behind your items on your countertops, even though you may not be cooking and chopping on that side of the counter. So all that stuff will fall on the floor if you just move your items away from the wall every so often as you clean. I also noticed that I had some drippings on the front of my cabinets. So I definitely want to get that off because that is a pet peeve of mine. I don't like to see drippings on my cabinets. It's off. So I'm just giving my kitchen a really good clean today and just kind of giving you all tips on how to keep your kitchen tidy and nice and shining as well because you don't want those streaks girl so get your glass cleaner get your sprayway glass cleaner honey can you feel it So this is my Amazon package that arrived as I was recording. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, it came right on time because I was not expecting for this to arrive during my recording process, but that's wonderful. I got some stove burner covers and then I also got something for my sink to um, hold my dish rag, my scrub sponge, and my hand soap and dish soap so that is what you see me opening right now um i like for my kitchen to have that little country feel i definitely have a country kitchen so once i put my stove top burners uh my stove burner covers on the stove you will see exactly what i'm talking about this is a cool little item to have it's supposed to not hold water and saturate your counters underneath this thing meaning you won't have um standing water and that is something that i definitely don't want i kind of had to work with it a little bit just to kind of get it to fit around my faucet just to get it to stay in place the way it's supposed to it's working really well it's rubber and so I really like this. I like that it makes things look neat. I don't have to just sit my dish rag and my items just on the counter. I don't have to have like a little, um, you know, um, caddy or anything like that. But I could just have this little rubber piece that would just house these items. And that was just absolutely perfect. I will link these things down below in case you are interested. So here are the stove burner covers that I bought that is super cute with the little sunflowers and the tea kettle and the chicken and that sort of thing. One of them didn't fit over the extra large stove burner that I have, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to make sense and look nice, right? And so I really do like these. And so for the warmer in the middle, because that's all it is, it's just where you sit your pot to warm it, I was able to sit my peach tea kettle in the middle and just have things look really, really nice. So I'm excited about the way this looks. I hope you like it as well. You 
Tell him he's all you see Tell him you got his keys Cause you thought he needed them But he's not coming back again So he's gone leaving then You won't see him again It was convenient But you won't be staying friends And you know that Sweetie, you know that Think you knew it before But you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you see clear That you were just You were just lost You were just lost But now you found So this is the other item that I ordered that came with my Amazon package today. These are just some kitchen mats that I got and it has just all kind of writings on it that pertains to the kitchen. I thought they were really gorgeous. I'm not going to lay them down though until after the floor dries because what I don't want is moisture to get trapped under the mats and then my floor start to buckle. So that's another tip for you. Don't ever lay mats down over your wet floor, especially if you have wood floors or LVL floors or whatever the case may be where they can possibly uh, ruin your floors because of the moisture. Just let your floors dry before you lay your mats down. You were just lost, you were just lost. But now you found and you realize it wasn't at all like what you created in your mind. It wasn't even nice. You wasted all your time. You didn't even like him in real life. Real So even after I mop, well, even after I sweep and mop my floors, I still like to go over my floors with the vacuum because like I mentioned earlier, I don't like to walk on the floors and it's feeling like sandpaper under my feet from all of the crumbs and whatnot. So I will still go over my floors even after they've been mopped and swept with the vacuum just to make sure everything is completely up and you will definitely feel a difference if you uh, decide to use that method. So I purchased this caddy at Walmart the other day and I just like to keep all my cleaning supplies in it so I'm not having to like carry cleaning supplies all over the house or keep them all over the house rather. I just have this one caddy. I don't actually use that caddy in my business. I haven't done that for years. I don't carry around a plastic caddy. I have a cleaning bag and it has several different compartments and it's just easier to just be able to throw it on my shoulder and go in and out of houses that way. But that plastic caddy, I have not used that for years. But I find it helpful to have around the house because I could just keep all my cleaning supplies inside of it and just keep it on the shelf in my laundry room. And then I just pull it down when I'm getting ready to clean the house. And then I just, again, carry it with me. And it just makes things a lot easier to um, make my cleaning supplies a lot easier to handle versus trying to have them all in my hand and arms and keep them under this sink and that sink. And, you know, I don't have to do that with the cleaning caddy. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. So the other day when I went out to purchase the home decor that you saw in my last video, by the way, if you have not checked that out, go ahead and do so. Um I did purchase these dishes from Ross as well for my dining room table. I did have four plates here at first that you saw me remove. I felt like my table needed a little bit more something. So I'm just adding some more um, dishes to the table and just giving it like a little stackable look here and just kind of making the bowls a little bit disoriented. But I like the way it looks um here on my table i just I'm, I'm not really into setting the table i'm not really into that look nothing against those of you that like to set your dining room table i don't have anything against that but my style is just a little bit different so i'm really enjoying just having the stackable dishes here on the dining room table now with this vessel that you see in my hand here this is a glass pitcher that i also picked up at ross i did put some 
a liquid in it which is water just to give it sort of a dramatic look you know like something is actually going on here at the dining room table and so I did still leave my faux pairs and that sort of thing so I'm going to continue to work with my dining room table but I'm just kind of testing things out to see what I like I do like this look a lot I love that glass picture it is sort of heavy and so it's very good quality and so I'm loving that this is my Hobby Lobby arrangement here, the vase and the flowers, and that's been there for a little minute now. And so again, I'm just kind of working with my dining room uh, table to see what it is I like. But so far, I'm liking this look. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's different. I think it's very elegant. I think it really falls in with the look of my table and my dining room, you know, the decor that I have in here. And I'm really satisfied with it, y'all. Like, I'm just loving, you know, seeing what goes with my new home and, you know, how I want to place things and how I want everything to look. So, to me, this is looking very elegant with the de decor that I put on the wall about a couple weeks ago and with my sconces that I have over here on the walls on the side everything is just looking absolutely perfect and just falling in place these candles smell so good when i walk in here it's very subtle they're not in the wrappings anymore so when i walk into the dining room i can actually smell the scent of those candles and i think they're called white oak if i'm not mistaken or something like that but those candles are also from hobby lobby if you want to check them out and so i picked them up because they go really well with the runner that's on my table which is a rose color and also my wild rose rose colored drapes that are in the dining room and on the first level of my home um so i'm really loving this y'all and i hope you love it i want to thank you for joining me today comment down below and let me know how you feel about everything comment down below and let me know if you are new i love having you thank you to all of my family members that are have been here for a while and still supporting me even though the content is changing and i love you guys so much and until next time peace